Right, so I've got Mesh Core open on the Mac M1 because you can run the Apple app on a M1 Mac now, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can see here, I've just literally been messaging Brian here, um, G0 SYL Mobile. Now, Brian is a good 50 kilometers away from here. So if we go to the map, we'll see, let's just zoom right out here. We'll see that Brian is right the way across the other side of London here. So he is around here somewhere where there's all these other other stations. It might be, oh no, there he is, that, that's Brian there. So this is Brian, and currently what we're doing is we're routing via Epping. So we're going from me here to Epping across here, and then all the way over to Brian. So that's a, you know, we're actually going slightly out of our way. That's actually well over a 100 kilometer round trip that, which is quite interesting. So what I'm going to try doing now, I'm going to try reaching uh, Rich over here, RJV Mobile. And what I'm going to try and do is route from me to Epin to Brian to Rich, then back again that way. We can't do this route because there's too much sort of terrain in the area. But So I just need to get Rich here and then I need to send a message to him. But what we're going to try and do is, is basically set a path. So we're going to go from my Yagi to Epping with Peter. Then we're going to go to Cat M. Then we're going to go to RJV's with Peter. And that should get us to Rich. So let's try that. And we'll see if we can get a message over to him, four hops away. Hi Rich. Let's see what happens there. It's done it. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's like, it's crazy. So we got, we're going from me to Epping, to Brian, to Rich's repeater, and then back again. So I mean, this that's like that's like another hundred on top of that. It's like a two hundred kilometer round trip. <laughs> Mesh call for the win. So a little bit later now, and Rich has actually replied. So he wasn't actually around at the time when I sent that message. So he just said I've upgraded my repeater firmware. So so we found that one point two point two is actually pretty game changing uh, firmware wise. But we've actually got firmware one point three now. So um, things are sort of moving pretty quick. So I'm just going to tap him a little message and see if we can get another one to go across to him. Um, so let's say, okay, Rich, yeah, the updated firmware, firmware solves a lot of issues. So we'll send that one out. There's been quite a few kind of fixes done um, with the newer firmware. Um, mainly just for sort of reliability and stuff like that. It's quite a fine-tuned sort of, you know, thing to actually get this working as well as this. It's not straightforward. Um, and then you've got a lot of other things that sort of fall into place as well, like, or come into play, uh, things like, um, you know, interference on the path as well. So that's another another thing. This one doesn't actually look like it's actually going to go through. Um, I think it may... Yeah, it looks like it's just failed. So with this, what you can do is, I've got it set to maintain the path rather than reset it at the end. So in your settings, you can actually do, um, you can shut that just delivered then, you see that, just actually delivered. So in the settings here, you've got basically, um, in your message settings, you can select whether to auto retry. So I've got that on because that's quite useful. And then we've got auto reset path. Now what happens is basically what it says here, it will try a, f a couple of times and then it will reset the path. And I don't usually have that tip because I like to manually sort of reset the path myself. Um, but if you're mobile, that would be sort of quite a good way to do it because it would then just, you know, reset the path if you if the path's changed because you've moved locations or something like that. But anyway, that one's gone through. So we're having a conversation here. Um, there's no doubt about that. So I know that he's running a Pi here with um, a, a rack, I think, and he's got it remotely sort of accessible so he can update the firmware remotely. But I know he's having trouble with the Pi, the power on the Pi. So I'm going to say, did you sort the Pi power supply out 
I think that's what the problem is. Um, and we'll just see what happens there. So by the looks of things, this path has actually changed slightly here. Um, so yeah, we're going via Cat M rather than rather than the Epping route. S sort of changed. So I hadn't reset that. So what's happened there? Anyway, it's working. So <laughs> it's working. So it is important to kind of wait for the other side to you know actually message rather than just banging messages out because remember this is not a a full duplex kind of setup it just is literally just like you listen and then you receive kind of thing so it is a good idea to sort of wait um, for the other side to respond before you start banging loads of messages out because otherwise you, you could get the situation where both of you are trying to send a message and the two are just banging against each other um, <laughs> but in this case it looks like um, he might not be be sending one back so we'll see while we wait for him, there's been some activity on the public channel, I think, there. I'm just going to have a look here. The guys are just talking about, um, I think, ham radio. So it's just quite good. <laughs> They're just like, literally just, just sort of chatting about um, ham radio stuff and, you know, making contacts. I've seen this happen before where a few few guys were like on the radio and trying to make contact and they were using Meshcore to actually kind of facilitate the contact which is which is brilliant that's exactly what it's for so it's nice really nice to see anyway let's go back to the so nothing there yet so i'm just i'm going to just say shorter messages work better at this distance well, that's actually turned into a longer one <laughs> anyway yeah you see it's gone quite quick anyway guys you get the idea messaging over three to four hops um working absolutely fine on meshcore yeah so join the discord to get involved in the community and um, don't forget like subscribe all the usual stuff for the videos and i'll catch you next time